response, wash your hands. Okay, response, wash your hands. In the title, let me just go ahead and tell you what the title means. It means wash your hands and be done with a particular situation is what the scripture or what the title is talking about. Now, this is a response to a video that was done by the elder brother um, Abadia from the GMS Mississippi camp. I think his page is Ark of Judah. 1611 if I'm if I'm not mistaken anyway he did a video entitled wash your hands it was a response to a comment that was left I guess on his comment board on his, one of his pages all right I'll show it to you this is the comment right here and I'll read it to you all right the comment was made by somebody named Ock not Op of Judah which every every brother that's in the truth could probably make a response to this video if they wanted to okay because we've all encountered this situation so i'll read the comment so the comment says it hurts me that jake can't see what's going on no matter how much i try to show them <laughs> well they're not going to get it it says no matter how many facts i bring they just won't listen I, okay well what this means is that they're not of the elect they're not the chosen they're not chosen to receive things that you're bringing out. And really, at the end of the day, you know, you brothers out there, you're so passionate about telling people about the truth. Well, why don't you just set up your camp and teach them? Instead of, you know, you somewhere in your family with your Bible out, sweating, trying to get your relatives to get the truth. They ain't going to get it. It's not for them. And we all have experienced this or we are going to experience it. People that you know that you tell about the truth, relatives, friends, or your girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives. Certain people, bro, you know, brothers and sisters that are close to you, I'm talking about your family, brothers and sisters, you're going to tell them about the truth and they're just not going to be able to get it because it's not for them to receive. I read it again. All right, that's 100% correct. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Just a response video, you know. Because I said I was going to do one, you know, do one also on this situation, on the subject. So let's go ahead and read this, you know. Okay. Let's see. Ark, not op of Judah. I don't don't understand that one either. Anyway, Ark, not op of Judah. It hurts me that Jake can't see what's going on no matter how much I try to show them. No matter how many facts I bring, they just won't listen, Ark. Well, that's the truth. They're, they're not going to listen. The scripture said, search the scriptures, okay? You got to read and understand why these things are going to happen. First and foremost, in Zechariah 3 and verse 8, what does it say? It said one third, one, one third shall be left therein. Two thirds going to uh, pass, pass on by the wayside. And that's always a larger number. If they're not going to understand it, they're not going to understand it. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the one who opens your eyes, closes your eyes. He does all these things. This is his movie. You can't forget that, all right? So let's go ahead and go to that scripture. We'll start there. You know, it's like, you know, it's trying to, it's like trying to teach my little dog here right beside me here. Chinese arithmetic. Ain't that right? You know, <laughs> matter of fact, here, let's get that scripture first. Um, I've got a lot of stuff pulled up here. Where was I at? There we go. Yep. Zechariah 13. In verse 9, and we have all been in this situation before, or again, like the elder said, going to be in that situation, you know, or, or be confronted with, with, with that type of uh, situation because they're just not going to listen. If it's not for them, it's not for them. The scripture said that the elect, the elect, the elect, you got to remember there is an elect and there's two thirds. Let's read about it. All right. Zechariah 13 and verse 9. And I will bring the third part. Through the fire, that what what's the third part? Those are the ones to be saved. The Israelites that did hearken unto the voice of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and listen to his words. All right, that turned at his reproof. What the what the prophets are telling you, you know. And if you can't get it, you can't get it. It's you know, I'm gonna be jumping, you know, back and forth around here, just just a little bit here and there. Okay, and as the scripture said that's the way the uh, the Bible's supposed to be taught anyway, precept upon precept. All right, through the fire, and we'll refine them as silver as refined, and we'll try them as gold as refined. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. That's an, that's another way you can tell if it's a brother or a sister or not when they when they know the name. 
You know? And then again, there's a lot of people that know the name that won't use it. Or they know the name just, just by knowing the name, by hearing it. By, you know, uh, uh, one of the elders, the apostles, prophets. Okay? They shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power. Okay? That's the one third, but two thirds got to be what? They got to be, they got to be gone, man. They got, they got to be uh, left here and melted as the scripture said, right? You know, going back up here. Uh, so I'll give you, you know, just uh, one of my testimonies. <laughs> uh, for the main part, uh, I, I was facing uh, that type of situation, you know, with my brother, with both of my brothers, really. You know, I got two brothers. All right. Uh, you know, blood brothers, if you will. All you are my blood brothers, but uh, and, and they just won't listen. And they've been told time and time again. And I, and I was, you know, when I first came into this truth, I was stressing and, and it was it was strife under me. I couldn't understand why. You know, I, I would even ask brothers, man, it, you know, it was the same thing. You know, like the dude said, I it, 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 it stresses me out. But no, not anymore. Through the comfort of the scriptures, we understand what's going on. If they're not going to get it, they're not going to get it. Now, he's been told time and time and time again. OK, time and time and time again. Again, it's like, it's you know, here, let me, let me do this. You see, it's like it's like, hey, Rosie, hey, it's like trying to teach this. This animal right here. It's like trying to teach this animal Chinese arithmetic. They're not going to listen. They can't. I know Sarad, right? They can't understand it. They're not going to get it. You know? You see that right there? See, it's just, it's like, again, <laughs> trying to cheat, t uh, teach somebody that's, that don't have ears to hear. <clears throat> you know? That, that little dog, how's that little dog going to understand, you know, uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to tell it? Besides sit, roll over, you know, and play fetch. You know? It's just a just a, a quick analogy because because they're not going to hear. They are in, incapable of hearing the truth because Yahweh Hashem Yahusha has blinded them. Now that's not uh, that's not saying that you know maybe in the latter end he'll he'll wake them up and let them see what the prophets were telling them, what their uh, you know brothers and sisters you know uh, or whoever you know what, what the prophets, what the men were telling them through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. But it's all about the elect. Even in these videos, we say just the elect, the elect, the elect, the elect, because that's what it's all about. Okay? Now, uh, uh, other situations, and I know this has also happened to you, brothers. Well, what about the children? Mary, what about what about celebrating their birthdays? What about having fun? What about Christmas? They'll say, you know, they'll say all kinds of things like that. Not understanding the true power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Not understanding. What the scriptures are saying, we are supposed to depart from this place. All right. And depart from these idols. That's what got us in trouble in the first place. Let's keep reading here. Romans 11 and verse seven. This won't be too long. It doesn't have to be too long. You know, we, we got to wash our hands. We have to wash our hands of everything here. All right. Because everything we need is written right here in the Bible. And that's all. That's all. Okay. That's why we got to endure to the end. Romans 11 and verse 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it. The what? The election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. They were blinded. Who blinded them? May you ask? <laughs> Who blinded them? Yahabashim Yahashah blinded them. They're not going to understand it. So you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to make people understand something. You got other camps and all kinds of videos and all kinds of brothers out there talking about, wake them up, wake them up. We can't wake anybody up. He told us to go and give them, a, he said, give them a warning from me. That's all. That's it. Give them, give them warning from me. That's it. That's all we got to do. Whether they will hear or forbear, they will know there was a prophet among them. As the scripture saith, right? Whether they will hear or forbear it, man. Revelation 1 and verse 3. And it was, you know, it was almost, you know, I got to be honest. I'm just, you know, I'm just pouring it out to you. Just uh, giving you 100% skinny. It was almost a hindrance to me. It was almost, you know, uh, uh, grievous. Well, I mean, you know, you know, but it was almost, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing the word right now. Um, a detriment to me because I was harping 
on trying to make people understand, trying to get my brothers, you know, when your moms or pops, uh, Uncle Fred, you know, whatever, to understand. When I was putting all that on me, and no, you can't put any of that on you. It's uh, 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 we we can't wake anybody up. That's one of the first things you have to understand. OK, and if they're not going to get it, they're not going to get it. That's why you got to wash your hands. Absolutely beautiful. Revelation one of verse three. Bless is he that readeth. You see, and for the most part, these people that you're trying to get to understand or you told the truth, you told them what the truth is. First, they, they're going to have no cloak for their sins. You know, because when that day comes, you how about Shimmy Al is going to say, hey, I never knew you depart from me. You work of iniquity. But they don't read. OK, they don't read. They're too comfortable in this world and just too busy, too busy, too busy, man. Revelation one of verse three blesses he that readeth, And they that hear the word of this prophecy, what they that hear the word of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand, okay? And it's coming faster and it's approaching faster and faster and faster. Faster and faster and faster. This is what this is one thing we got to remember right here. John 15 and verse 16. This is red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. You see? Did he not say those have eyes, uh, eyes to see and ears to hear? And he's the one who gives you these eyes and these ears to see these things. Why do you speak it to them in parables, right? Because it is for them to understand. The election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. It's, this, it's, a, very, it's a very simple thing. It's a very, very simple concept. But you got to read. All right? You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that, and that your fruit shall remain, that, that uh, whatsoever ye shall ask, of the Father in my name, Yahawashai, he may give it to you. He may give it you. That's what it says. I put two in there. It's a lot added me to do that. Not adding to the scriptures. Okay? So let's see what else I had here. Again, I wasn't going to make this too long. Just a quick response. You know, basically, because it, all, this has happened to each and every one of us in this truth. And I know it has. I know it has. They're, they're going to ask you all kinds of different things. What about birthdays? Uh, will you uh, will you honor, uh, you know, will you honor your, 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 your grandmama? Will you will you honor this? No, I honor you. How about Shimei Shai? You know, and, I, you know, and I honor thy father and thy mother, but in the right context. I'm not, I'm, you know, hey, we worship you. How about Shimei Shai? And that's that. And that's what it is, man. John 12 and verse 50. And I know that. That his commandment is life everlasting. What did he command us to do? To keep his commandments. To teach. And those who won't hear, kick off the dust of your feet, man. See? Shake off that, shake that dust off. Shake it off. Everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father saith unto me, so I speak. So that's what we are to be doing, man. And if you stay occupied too much. And that trying to wake somebody up spirit, that's the wrong spirit to be in in the first place. You know, if you stay there in, that's where you're going to be, man. You know, I got this saying, if you, uh, if you, if you don't, uh, you can't play, you can't play ball if you don't put yourself in the game. You know, you can't play ball if you're not put in the game. Shall I put up, shall I say it that way? Isaiah 48 verse 17, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, which teacheth thee to profit. See? Which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. Teacheth thee to profit. Okay? Prophesy, Salakia. Some kind of something out there. I don't know what's going on out there. Let's keep going. I know, again, I know this is sort of all over the place. But you know what? The scriptures are now all over the place. Let's read this. To the four corners of the earth, the gospel shall be spoken, and then the end shall come. Okay? Again, rather they will hear or forbear. So you can't put, you can't put, you know, really uh, any uh, equity into uh, trying to wake somebody up because you yourself, none of us, none of us men, we can't wake anybody up. All we can do is give them warning from you. How about Shimei Shai? Warn them. And then the end, they'll see it, okay? Everybody's going to see it. 
As the scripture said, right? They're all going to see. They're all going to know that he is the, 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 the Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai is the true power of Israel. And that's that. Isaiah 30 verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. All right. Salaki. Okay. Uh, you know, I got messed up here. The dog messed me up. All right. Affliction. Yep. Yes. She, uh, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Right. Everywhere you go, you're going to see them, you know, and the elder went into that when he was doing his uh, response video on wash your hands. Yeah, I mean, you got you got places, all kinds of places, wherever you go. Uh, uh, let's see Barbados, uh, all up in Canada, Mexico, Africa, uh, you know, all all across the, uh, Babylon. Right. Uh, the Bahamas, the uh, Virgin Islands, straight gate, the brother down there. See, whether they be by themselves or what, you're going to see them. Small towns like this little podunk town up here, Boone, North Carolina. You're going to see. You're going to see somebody out there on the highways and byways teaching. All right? And then the end shall come, right? Verse 21. All over the place, man. And even when you get off, down off this mountain just a little bit, it's brothers, uh, well, uh, you know, like-minded brothers, shall I say. I don't know, like an hour, hour and a half away from here. It's, it's, you know, they we're all over the place, baby. Verse 21, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right, and when ye turn to the left. So wherever you go, uh, upways, slantways, sideways, <laughs> you're going to see, you're going to hear the word. You're going to have no cloak for your sin, right? All right? So that's why you need not, uh, be so occupied and well, my, I, I gotta, I gotta make my, I gotta make my family understand it. It hurts me. Well, don't let it hurt you, because this is your How About Shem Yahweh Shai's movie, man. Nobody can, nobody can uh, make straight that's crooked, as the scripture said, Galatians three and verse two. This only what I learn of you: receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. See, so you got to have a measure of faith to even begin to understand this. Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is the one who puts it in your inward parts. He puts the spirit. He puts the faith on you. All right. To be able to understand the mysteries that are written therein. Right. You see, let's jump on down here. So I don't want to make this too long, but let's keep going. Jeremiah five and verse one. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem which is a people before it's a place, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep it right there. And see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If ye can find a man, what? If ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that, seek, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. See? Bid them to the marriage. That's what we've been put here to do. Nothing more and nothing less. OK, just bid them to the marriage. That's all you got to do. Don't be uh, too preoccupied with anything else. Stay occupied in prophecies, as the, as the scripture said. Right. Be a watch. You see, I've set thee a watchman. I set watchman upon thy walls. Right. A brazen wall that will stand. And we and we are standing what on the chief corner stone of Yahweh Shai. OK, that is our rock. He is our cornerstone. Matthew 24 and verse 14, red letters again. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. OK, the gospel shall be what preached. And if they won't hear it, they won't hear it. Don't let it pain you. Don't let it pain you. OK, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, how about some y'all shots got us? OK, so let me go back and see. Um. Um, yep, let's go here. I'm probably going to close this out. I got a couple more. Matthew 10 and verse 14. Yeah, I know this is a little bit different, but you know, hey, that's just, that's the way I teach. And hopefully it's edifying. That's what it's all about. The edification of the body, the elect. Matthew 10 and verse 14, red letters again. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words. Why, what, are, what are your words? The words that are being spoken. 
are the words that were put in our mouth. Didn't you? How I said I put my hand on your mouth and then you speak. OK, so if they turn their shoulder, hey, it is what it is. You got to shake off the dust of your feet. Right. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when ye depart out of the house, out, out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. All right. And that's that. That's it. I'm not going to take it any further. That's all it needs to be said. And again, hopefully this was edifying. And, uh, you know, a whole lot of you brothers and sisters, you know, that, you know, want to tell your family what's going on. Tell them the truth. And they don't want to hear it. You just got to shake off the dust of your feet. That's it. Giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Of whom I learn from daily. Okay. And a healthy child of to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Again, you know, sort of like trying to teach that little dog Chinese arithmetic, man. It, it, it just, it ain't going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. All right. So every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwame Yasharala. Wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.